Okay, so here is how to unprogram yourself. This is just going to be a raw, real, unedited video. This is the answer right here. You can unprogram yourself from anything, anything, anything by following these three steps. First, it is to become aware that you are programmed. Most people are already at this first step. They already know I'm caught up in addiction. I'm caught up in OCD. I'm caught up in this cycle of anxiety or, or depression or whatever it is. Most people already know that there's something in their brain that they don't want in their brain. It's not serving them any purpose. So step number one is just to become aware of it. If you are watching this video, you probably are already aware of it. Second, it is to investigate, inquire into what is observing, what is aware that there's a problem. What is aware? The problem is not aware of itself. The problem is like an object. So, you know, this. if I'm holding this box of matches, the box of matches is not aware of the box of matches. There's something within me that's aware of this box of matches. And I'm here to tell you that this box of matches are no different than the thoughts in your own head, the programs in your head. It's no different. The thoughts in your head are objects, even though we don't look at it like an object, but it is actually materialized object in a certain form that exists on the movie screen of your mind. Okay? What's watching this movie screen? This is step number two. What is watching this movie screen? What is seeing the images in your mind that you're not good enough, that you have a body image issue, that you have uh, some, some OCD or uh, you suffer over this, 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 and this? Uh, what, is, what is viewing this? So step number one is just to be aware. Okay, I'm aware that there's a problem here. Step number two is to look within yourself and ask yourself who or what is aware of this because it's not the same thing. There's an awareness and there's a thing that is that is we are aware of, okay? There's an experiencer and there's that which is being experienced. I hope you follow me. Step number three is instead of coming out of this awareness and going into the problem and engaging with the problem, we just stay as the awareness. That's it. It's that simple. I say it's simple, but it does take practice. You're not just going to do this one time. You have to have the diligence to, to create a practice in your life of just staying as the awareness. And the more you stay as the awareness, the more energy, power, love that you begin to feel for yourself and others and the more ability you have that when something approaches you, whether it's in the real physical world or whether it's in the mental world, it appears in your experience and you don't play into it. So it's like being an alcoholic and having this urge to go to the fridge and drink a beer. If you're an alcoholic, there's nothing wrong with drinking. I'm specifically talking about alcoholism. It is to go to the fridge and pick up this beer. But nothing in this world can move your body to go in there and get the beer and drink the beer. Nothing in this world can do that. Nothing in your own mind can do that except for being absent-minded and just following along the pattern in your mind so what do we do? We first become aware of the pattern. Two, we realize that whatever is aware of the pattern is, is, is not the pattern itself. There's something separate that's aware of the pattern. Step three, just stay as the awareness and don't involve yourself into the pattern. And this, you can certainly break yourself from any type of addiction, any type of issue that you have. Now, you still might need, at least for a time being, medication or therapy or whatever, whatever modality that you're already in. I'm not suggesting that people just quit whatever they're in. I'm suggesting start practicing this, this awareness. 
What can boost this awareness is by practicing meditation. Because meditation is just you being, you taking time out of your day to do nothing but be aware. And if you say, but Billy, I sit to meditate and I just see these thoughts. That's fine. Let the thoughts come and just be aware of the thoughts. Without judgment, without anything, just be aware. And you will develop this awareness within you, which is your true nature, so that you can eventually drop everything else. Namaste. Stay.